Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. Your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from Consensus 2018 in New York City. This is the world's largest blockchain conference. Joining me for this segment is Nico. Let's pronounce this one right. Stiano. There we go. And we also have Eamon Mart. They are both with Eternity. And we're going to focus on blockchain education and the race for talent. This is a super hot topic in the industry right now. And uh, so tell us a little bit about Eternity, then we'll get into the uh, follow up for talent here. First of all, thank you for having us, Jill. We appreciate it. Uh, Eternity, per se, is a blockchain infrastructure that allows you to have something like an app store in order to build a decentralized application on top of it. But obviously, we also have smart contracts and are focusing on scalability. Uh, right, so in the manuscript, there's a pronounced shortage of developers to be qualified to work in the blockchain industry. How are you addressing that? Uh, there's different ways how we're addressing this. This has been an issue that we have focused on since the beginning due to the fact that we experienced it firsthand that uh, in order to be able to build all those applications, you need developers that are able to do so. And the developers that you have in today's time might be on a very good level, though they're not, they don't have the knowledge and the skill set yet to actually translate it directly into blockchain. They need to have a course and they need to have somebody that can pass on this knowledge and prep them pretty much to become a blockchain developer. Everything else is pretty much self-taught. This is oh yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry to interrupt, but there's also a, a difference, of course, between building applications on top of a blockchain and building a blockchain itself. So what we are looking at, we have professionals who built the blockchain already, this is Eternity, yeah. and now we're looking for people who built on top of it. And in order to make this uh, easy, we also provide um, educational material, because this is basically what you need. Well, and you recently, well, you have the partnership with uh, Sofuni in yes. Bulgaria as well, so that's a partnership that you're working on to help promote blockchain education. Indeed, we set it up as a three-course program where you would have something like the Blockchain 101 basics, programming basics, and then at a later stage you're also learning how to, how to how to write smart contracts. So it's very different than traditional developing that you learn in school. Okay, so you also have to take the theory and put it into practice as well. It is similar, it's just a new field that right. people need to adapt to. Yeah, it's like a technology stack. So people who learn uh, um, uh, learn about this technology and, and want to become an engineer in this space, they they need to understand um, uh, new. They, they address new technical challenges, and um, it's actually very interesting and very nice for 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 young developers because um, maybe like a long time, there not a lot has have moved. And now with blockchain, they actually also address new technical challenges like building applications that could run forever worldwide on a decentralized network like Eternity. All right, and let's wrap it up with the mainstream adoption of blockchain. Do you think it's going to become part of the mainstream? Well, we do hope so and we believe in it. But you, all, you have projects like Academy, for example, that are focusing on the transition and the support for blockchain developers. Uh, they're doing a great job. We, are, we partnered up with SoftUni in order to create something that's starting to come up, but in our opinion, it's going to take a couple of more years until you, we can actually see direct adoption on a global level. Yeah, and the applications, they will be the key. So um, the applications are the interface to the blockchain. And when you cannot access the, the blockchain or do something with the blockchain, you are, you are, it will never reach mainstream adoption. So we have the infrastructure now. It's proven that the infrastructure works. This is why we are all here. Like since 10 years it's working, it didn't break down. And now the next phase is to actually build the interfaces uh, for people to actually use uh, this uh, infrastructure. And also educate the people that are going to build and use this technology. All right. Thank you both for joining me thank today. Thank you very Francis, much. And thank you for joining me throughout the Thank day. you very Jill much Malagino. for the interview. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm Jill Cheers. Malagino, Global Market.